Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Broken Sword Shadow of the Templars, where we are just about to go and explore Pierre's room over here. Pierre, who was brutally murdered by a mime in the last episode, and I am absolutely hooked on this game already. So, we managed to get the key to be able to go into here. Uh, his, well, wife gave us the key. We managed to convince her to do that. So, let's try this on this door and see if we can find out any clues that might help reveal why this mime now we were getting somewhere killed somebody who was potentially going to become the president of france so let's head in right there's got to be some sort of secret in here right because it looks like a normal room what's this light switch i didn't need the lights on it was light enough already okay it's light enough already uh maybe there's something behind one of these pictures the painting showed the cachons together in love as the poet said the past is a different country. Or did I read that in a fortune cookie? <laughs> this looks suspicious straight there away. There was the very faintest of clicks. Of course there was, right. What did that do though? The faintest of clicks, but... I, I, aha! A safe. Behind the picture was a safe. Alright, so there's a safe here. I wonder if maybe this thing here opens the safe but before we do that I just want to take a look around some of the other things in the room just to make sure because I, I wonder if, if that is what we're meant to find and I don't particularly want to move on and miss something else that I might need I don't know this if there's wasn't the time for me to lie on this sofa doing my Marie Antoinette impression <laughs> probably Though not which is very popular at parties especially with gay guys don't ask me why all right fine um yeah, I mean, I don't know if there's dead ends or game overs in this game, so I don't want to risk missing something important, especially as we've been playing a lot of the Sierra games, and I'm a bit paranoid about that now. As expected, the desk was yet another priceless antique yawn. The blotter and in tray had clearly been placed with mathematical precision. Yeah, they do look very... very neat. Is there anything under them, maybe? I didn't need a sheet of blotting paper. Not while it was blank. Right, okay. I didn't want to take the tray, but I knew that I could use it. So maybe we're going to have to use this stuff at some point. Uh, perhaps we're going to use the paint, maybe? I don't know. Uh, what's the deal? We don't have anything to do with that painting. Can we go through here? Locked. Not surprising, really. I wonder if the key works also on this door? It didn't work. But I guess it would have been surprising if it had. It would, uh, but at least we know that we can maybe find another key to go through there. Right, let's try having a look at this then. I'm thinking we perhaps need to use the key on there. The safe was locked. I needed the key. Yeah, I'm thinking this is the key, right? Do we need the code though? We don't need the code. What is this? In the safe was some kind of artifact. There were strange symbols on its surface. It looked like the printer's blocks I'd made at art school. Right. If there was one thing I'd learned about symbols. They are always important. But these symbols scratched into stone were impossible to read. I needed to find a way of printing them. At least the stone was round. But what could I use for ink? Oh, we know we can and use for ink. what could I print on? We... Sure, I was stealing, but I knew Imelda didn't know about the artifact, and Carchon was past caring. To put it bluntly. Alright, well, we've got that. We've we've definitely got ink, haven't we? We've got, we took the paint, so we can use that. Uh, can we maybe do it on there? We don't actually have any paper, do we? So, perhaps we'll need to find some paper, but we can definitely put the ink into here. That's step one complete, at least, surely. Yes, okay. Pretty straightforward. I'd spread blue paint over the bottom of the tray. It was ruined. I was a very bad, bad girl. But also quite a clever one. Yeah, yeah, quite clever. Uh, right, let's do this. That should allow us to put the ink on. I rolled the artifact in the paint until it was completely coated. Oh, that looks very much like the design on the the napkin. An antique uh, the... tray with paint spread all over it. Not a lot I could do with that. Not the napkin, sorry. The handkerchief, was it? Um, no. No, okay. So we can't do that. Can we put it on there, maybe? Um, no. No, okay. 
So perhaps we do need some sort of paper then. I mean, unless we can. Um, no. No. All right. So we're going to need some sort something to print that on then. So we've got, we've got the design. Uh, unless we can. Can we? We can't. No, we can't drag the book. All right. So we're going to need some sort of paper then. Let's have a look around. Did we see paper anywhere in here? Uh, there's a couple of books. But nothing. I mean, unless we can take a page out of it a book. It contained rows of titles I didn't recognise. No. Okay. So we can't do that. Can we combine inventory items? Can we do something like this? I wouldn't be able to print straight onto the cloth. I needed something flat to print onto. Right. So can we need something flat to print onto? So can we, do we do that here? Like, can we, it definitely seems like we've got a print onto the cloth, right? I wouldn't be able to print straight onto the cloth. I needed something flat to print onto. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, but we can't. Um, no. We can't do that, can we? So what's the, the deal with this? was embroidered with an unusual symbol. So we can't. I wouldn't be able to print straight onto the cloth. I needed something flat to print onto. Unless we just print straight onto here. Okay, it looks like... Yes, we do. Okay, we do. That was me being stupid. Genius. The roller and the pen worked just as I planned. But what did it say? Ooh. What does it say indeed? It was some kind of coded message. It read... Subjudice. I may not have learned a lot as a journalist, but that was a term I knew well. It means a legal case that is before the courts. Below it was a sequence of letters that made no sense. I suddenly realized there was a connection between the boat ticket and the coded message. Ah. The boat ticket was stamped Bateau de la Conciergerie. The Conciergerie on the Ile de la Cité by the river housed the ancient law courts. So, subjudice could in this case mean literally under the law courts, below the conciergerie. That could do. I guess we could could see. Uh, so, SDSSDSS. That's what we've got to figure out. Uh, I should follow the clues exactly by going to the key side. Right, so how do we go to the key side? We've got that now as well. So, I guess... Can we just head out? Nothing in the fireplace. Doesn't look like it. All right, let's see if we can just leave then, I guess. Looks like we're off to the docks or the quayside at least. Can we can we head out? I thought of leaving, but was sure there was more to find. Oh, there's more to find. Okay. So it's not time to leave just yet. Madame Cachon, I uh, please call me Imelda. We hardly need the formalities now, do we? Uh, we Did can ask Mr. more. Cochon say nothing to you about my father? No, I'm sorry, he never mentioned him. Can we show her some of this I stuff? I was confident that Imelda wouldn't recognise the patterns. No. She'd know I'd broken into her husband's safe if I showed her the artefact. That would have been insane. True, That that's true. So, her husband took secret boat trips. Did she really need to see the ticket? All right, well, maybe we don't actually need to show her anything. I was sure that there was more to find. I just had to keep looking. So we've obviously missed something around here, something that's that's important. Can we use the phone? There was no one I needed to phone. Not until I had solved this case. Okay, not until we've solved the case. <laughs> so, I mean, can we go out the window, maybe? Is that an option? What was on here again? Oh yeah, that Even opens up. Even my fingernail wouldn't fit into such a small hole. So that opens up where we got the little key from. What's this? A magnificent antique table. Just the table. Okay. We've seen the picture. The tapestry must have cost a fortune. Alright, so nothing to do with that. Did we miss something in here? I'm not sure we did, but we can have a look. Uh, so there was outside, wasn't there? Did we miss anything on, on the actual body itself? 
Pierre Cachon was stiff for the last time. <laughs> nice. Uh, right, so... We had a look Cachon at that. Cachon had been shot. So let's try going back outside, shall we? The killer must have used a ladder to reach the window. Right, so we can't do anything with that. So what does it say here? Coded message... I should follow the views literally by going to the key side, literally under the conciergerie. But it, we can't leave yet because we've obviously missed something. So it's, it's got to be in, in Pierre's room, right? Or, or the room behind it, which we can't get into. Can we do anything with this? I didn't need the lights on. It was light enough already. It's, it's weird to me that there's a light switch. That That seems a little bit odd. Why would there be a random light switch in here? And the fact we can't interact with it is, is a bit strange. So can we do anything else? Oh, hang on. My heart skipped a beat. It was a carved elephant. But not just any carved elephant. It had been made by my father. I knew for certain because in my apartment I had its exact twin. Weird. Carved into a box he had made. So cochon had known my father they really must have been friends i decided to take the carved elephant it clearly meant nothing to imelda okay we'll, we'll take that i was pretty sure i'd found all i could here and besides all this opulence was making me pine for my regular life of poverty this was a huge story it was also one heck of a puzzle with a lot of pieces missing but i was going to crack it and if i could just remember the name of that fancy prize you get for being an ace journalist I was definitely going to win it this time. All right, well, that was what we needed then. So I guess we can now head out. I feel kind of weird about leaving that there, but it seems like we have to. So I guess it's time to head out now that we found that. So that was what we were missing, obviously, the elephant figure. Can we just leave through the main door or... Are the police going to be here? I mean, I know they're on their way. I couldn't leave without saying goodbye to Imelda. All right, fine. We'll say goodbye. Uh, we're off. We've just raided your stuff. Did you find anything useful? Loads of stuff. This carving. Do you know anything about it? It was Pierre's. What does a statue have to do with... Please, I need to know. He was given it by a friend. Something to do with Africa. Right. He never explained any more. No. But I think it was important to him. Always on display. Why? It was carved by my father. Oh, I see. I didn't know. Imelda, I will do everything I can to find the killer. Thank you, my dear. And if the police ask, don't worry. You were never here. Subjudice was the key. I was going to have to find a way under the conciergerie. I decided to head straight for the quayside on the Ile de la Cité. If there was a way of getting under the conciergerie, it would have to be from there. All right, well, we're off then. An hour later, so we're going to the quayside. And Carson we are here. wasn't the type for messing about on the river. He was up to something down here. Something that got him killed. I know I mentioned it sort of in the intro to the game, but the, the colours and things on these trees are, are just wonderful. The conciergerie. Former royal palace, prison and law courts and also home to the busiest guillotine in the French Revolution. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right, so anything... So let's have a look around here. There's, we can go back up the stairs, but I don't think we want to do that because we've just come down here. There's quite a few things we can look at here. It was the old boathouse for the conciergerie. If I was right about the meaning of subjudice, then the answer had to lie somewhere here on the quayside. Yeah, but the question is, can we get into any of these? They look pretty locked to me. The fence wouldn't move. Yeah, I, di I didn't think it would, but it was worth a try. Should we try this one as well? Ah, what's that? This fence wouldn't move either. That looks a bit like the symbol that we saw, right? So I'm thinking maybe this is a... A sort of clue. The cross looked familiar. I'd seen it before. It was embroidered on the lace cloth I'd picked up at Cochon's apartment. I knew I was on the right track. 
Yeah, so can we get into here? Hmm. I tried pushing the fence, but it wouldn't move. Oh. A strange pair of locks stopped the latches from releasing the gate. Interest. Oh, these look like puzzles. You must move the rectangular blocks so the latch can slide all the way across, so releasing the gate to open. Blocks move along their length, some vertically, some horizontally. Right, so it is a puzzle, okay. <laughs> to move a block, click on it and drag it horizontally or vertically across the appropriate axis. Right, okay, so uh, it's going to be one of these old shifty block puzzles, which um, I am not the best at, but we'll give it a go. Uh, my way of doing them is normally just to move stuff randomly until we get somewhere which probably isn't the best way of doing them you guys are probably going no Turian that's not how you solve it that's not how you do it um, we'll, we'll figure it out we, we will figure it out don't worry <laughs> so um, yeah so we don't we can't do it that way can we let's let's think about this so that won't work. Uh, I wonder if they reset. If you let's try that. Let's see if they reset. If you they do reset. Okay, that's that's well that's helpful. That helps us out a little bit. So the only ones we can move to start off with are this one and this one, right? So that doesn't really give us too many options. We can also move this one, I suppose. So we could, in theory, do this. I mean, that doesn't really give us much in terms of options. So if we can move... That won't really go anywhere. That can come down. That can go down. Like that. Uh, okay, that didn't, that didn't help. So, I mean, really, we just need to get these two out of the way, don't we? It's, it's these two now that we need to move. That one can move. Uh, but that top one's blocking this one. So, uh, let's think. No, that's not going to help. We can get that out of the way. It's, it's how we're going to move this one, really. I mean, we could maybe shift it down if we can find a way to do that. I don't think that's going to work. Uh, right, let's think. That can go all the way across. So... No, that's not going to cut it either, is it? Oh, actually, that I think that one needs to go down. This one needs to go down. So, hmm, okay. And there's one on the other side, which I'm guessing is the same sort of thing. Yes, it is. Right, so there's two of the same thing. But actually, guys, looking at the time, we're actually out of time anyway for this episode. So we'll try and figure this, well, these two out in the next episode. Uh, it might take a little while, but we'll get there, don't worry. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, and Lyle for all the support. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you all next time.